वेलकम टू द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एस आई आर टी भोपाल आई एम डॉक्टर अमित आवास एंड दिस इज ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट माई क्वालिफिकेशन तो प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द बेसिक बेसिक्स ऑफ टर्बाइंस एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ यू नो हाउ थर्मोडाइनिक्स कैन बी यू नो यूज इन द कंप्लीट यू नो स्टीम टर्बाइन एंड यू नो हाउ द एनर्जी कन्वर्जन In, in during the flow entire takes place that is we have we have already discussed uh, everything oh, okay so in the today's session we are going to see about the steam turbine basically what are the main component of steam turbine and how it will work that is the main part of concern so definitely we are going to see in the today's session let's start the session at first and then we will see each and everything so at first this is in unit 2 this is steam turbines at first we should know about the turbines in this we shall consider the steam as the working fluid the first point is as we have seen in the hydraulic turbine working fluid is liquid means water will be the working fluid especially if i am talking about the steam that means uh, i should say uh, in place of a steam i should say the vapor you know the dryness fraction should be greater greater than you know it means it should not be in the wet region because it will uh, you know corrode the blade part and that is very dangerous for the life of the uh, what uh, turbine so this is the main part of concern a uh, second point is single stage or multi stage uh, both we have to see and then axial or radial turbine both uh, both are important means axial turbine as well as radial turbine these both are very much important then atmospheric discharge atmospheric discharge or discharge below the atmosphere in the condenser in the both these both both are very much important that how it will uh, work and what will be the function that is very much important that impulse and reaction turbine so these points we will discuss but you know in a series of lecture we'll discuss everything okay so next we are going to see the impulse turbine in impulse turbine single or multi rotor uh, multi rotor are simple stages of turbine so how turbine will work that is basically very much important so overall power plant i am just going to make one picture over here so that you will get realize that how actually the power plant is working so here i, I, I am making a boiler so here we will provide the heating effect and this will create the steam and this will completely after you know after we will heat it means we will add some energy into this one water and this will get evaporated evaporated to form a steam and this steam or vapor will uh, go through uh, you know and uh, go through a pipe and then we will expand it into turbine and finally we will uh, pass it through the cooling tower cooling tower and we will uh, convert the you know steam into the liquid and then we will pump it again by using a pump by using a pump this is bo boiler this is turbine and here it is cooling tower this is cooling tower basically and here it is what this is pump almost 2% of the work produced by the turbine will be utilized to pump that liquid directly into the boiler because boiler has already have high pressure So, so we need to push it means uh, through by using a high pressure pump that's why 2% of the turbine work will be utilized by pump itself so this is the basic function of a power plant and here the, this component is called a turbine and here this is we are we are going to discuss about this one and how the geometry of this turbine will be this is very much important so basically turbine is can be bifurcated whether it is impulse turbine or reaction turbine 
that is basically the geometry of the blade as well as the power conversion uh, that is very much important so we will bifurcate it on the basis of geometry and a power conversion and a degree of reaction also that will uh, and the various condition that we will use separately so these things are very much important now uh, the second point is here here the impulse blades are attached to the shaft impulse blades can be recognized by their shape they are usually symmetrical and have entrance and exit angle respectively around 20 degree i already have discussed these things inside the classroom okay so uh, means symmetrical shape of the impulse turbine means the blades will have the symmetrical shape and the exit and entrance angle is same around 20 degree because they are usually used in the entrance high pressure stages of steam turbine when the specific volume of steam turbine is low and requires much smaller flow than at lower pressure the impulse blades are short and have constant cross sectional area how it will look like we will see it now the, in the impulse turbine single stage impulse turbine and that is also called as d level turbine after it it is named after name of its inventor basically so the turbine uh, consists of a single rotor as this is single stage impulse turbine so uh, the power will be generated in single stage only how multi stage can be used that we will see in the next lecture so uh, the steam is fed uh, through one or several convergent divergent nozzle which do not extend completely around the surface of rotor uh, only i think one two three that's depend on the power you want and that depend on the number of rotor sorry number of blades and the diameter also these things are very much important and that is the deciding power i think so so the only part a part of the blade is impinged upon the steam at any one time the nozzle also allow the running of the turbine by setting of one of one or more than okay so how it will look like we have to see it this is this is the blade you can see here this is symmetrical and how it will look like means from the front view i will show you after this lecture so this uh, the pressure uh, equalizing holes this will equalize uh, the pressure you know this is axial direction this is shaft basically here is the spelling mistake this is basically shaft okay so this is the disc and uh, how it the overall rotation will be done and uh, how the imp uh, you know steam will get expanded uh, through this uh, you know series of rotors that we have to see and uh, uh, in the next lecture so thank you for watching this video we'll see the next uh, uh, you know topic and uh, multi staging in the uh, next video thank you all